So, you're bringing the family to Christchurch, and you've got some time to kill. What better way to spend it than to visit some local playgrounds? But which playgrounds should you visit? In this video, we're going to visit some of Christchurch's best known playgrounds and a few less well known play spots you should know about. I'm John from Newmat, and these are Christchurch's top 5 playgrounds. Constructed in 2015 as part of the Christchurch City post quake rebuild, Margaret Mayhe Family Park is the jewel in the crown of the Garden City's many public parks and playgrounds. Covering a whopping 16,000 square metres, it's touted to be New Zealand's largest playground and perhaps Christchurch's most loved. Named after the famous children's author, the park tells a story that reflects the local Canterbury landscape with its iconic braided rivers, patchwork plains, sandy coastline and lively wetlands. With a huge range of fun activities, there's something for everyone, including an 8 metre high climbing tower and twisty slide, separate sand and water play areas, flying fox, large pour and play mound and super slide, and a good spread of swings, spinners, rockers and other play pieces. For those less inclined to vigorous play, there are gentler options available. A stroll along the Avon River that runs adjacent to the park is a nice way to relax while the big kids burn off some energy in the playground. Picnic tables and free public barbecues are available, so bring some snags and settle in for a day of food and family fun. If the Margaret Mayhe Family Park Playground is the jewel in Christchurch's parks and playgrounds crown, then the Botanic Gardens Playground is something of a hidden gem. Nestled in the 153-year-old Botanic Gardens, this playground has a large range of play equipment pieces for children of all ages. There are swings, slides, rockers and fort structures, and while the equipment and surfacing are a little dated, the playground's beautiful park setting more than makes up for it. Visitors to the park are rewarded with relaxing park walks through beautiful flower beds, established trees and views of the meandering Avon River. Alongside its peaceful park setting, the playground is also home to the city's largest outdoor paddling pool, which was opened in 1944 and has been a popular summer destination for Christchurch families ever since. Located in the hip seaside suburb of Sumner, Scarborough Park Playground is a local Cantabrian favourite, and it's not hard to see why. With one of Christchurch's most popular beaches on its doorstep, and a surfside cafe and ice cream shop, all within a stone's throw of the playground, this playground really does have it all. Recently upgraded by the Christchurch City Council, the playground consists of a large range of play equipment items arranged around a central climbing tower. Equipment includes swings, an eagle's lair climbing net, a dancing snake rope swing, a mouse wheel, and an iconic rocking horse which was kept from an older playground on the site that was replaced in 2018. Although this is more ornamental than playable these days, in addition to all of this, there is a popular paddling pool located between the main playground and the beach, where families often spend hours paddling and playing. What a delightful way to spend an afternoon. During the 1960s and 70s, the beachside mall at New Brighton was a bustling weekend hotspot, and it was in 1971 that a playground was constructed that would become a favourite place of play for Christchurch locals. The original playground featured a pool with a large concrete whale. Soon after the playground opened, it became known as the Whale Pool Playground. Over the years, New Brighton's popularity as a weekend destination waned, but the iconic status of the Whale Pool remained, and it was in 2018 that the old playground got a revamp. Now there is a whole new playground on the same site, and a new Whale Pool too. The playground includes a large walker, swings, climbing nets, rockers and spinners. And with its proximity to the New Brighton Pier, this revamped playground is a major piece in the overall renewal of New Brighton as a weekend destination for families. Above the hillside suburb of Kashmir, overlooking the city, Victoria Park Playground is one of Christchurch's best kept secrets. The playground itself doesn't boast, it doesn't have a large footprint or state-of-the-art equipment, but its stunning location and great use of the hilly landscape make it a playground that's well worth a visit. The playground equipment consists of two small wooden forts, a swing set and a few assorted spinners and springy ride-on pieces. But it's what's outside the playground that really makes this playground special. And that's the long metal slide that runs down the side of an adjacent rock formation. The Port Hills are a 12 million year old remnant of the Littleton Volcano Crater 
and the hills around this playground are volcanic formations. The rocky outcrop is an interesting play feature that can keep kids busy exploring for hours. And with picnic tables and several nearby bush and mountain walks, this playground is a fantastic spot for some good old fashioned family adventure. So there you have it, Christchurch's top five playgrounds. We hope you found this video informative and helpful for planning your next family outing in Christchurch. If you'd like more information about other local playgrounds around New Zealand, then check out the Playgrounds Near Me map on our website.